Rule number five, remove limiting beliefs. We all have these, but we don't know it typically. There are mental barriers called limiting beliefs that are things in your head that are mentally holding you back from taking the next level in your life. For example, fear to be uncomfortable, to get out of your comfort zone. Like you better believe I didn't want to make a bunch of cold calls when I was a brand new agent. Like it scared me, but I knew I had to do it. It was a limiting belief. Fear of spending money because I don't think I'm going to be able to go recoup it. That's a fear. That's a limiting belief. Or here's a big one for me. I don't know about for you guys, but worrying about what everybody else thought of me. Worrying about what my friends thought. Worrying about what my family thought. Like I wouldn't do something. I wouldn't take an action because I worry about what everybody else was thinking, man. I want you to focus on figuring out what those limiting beliefs are. I'm telling you, there's something that is mentally holding you back from taking the next level in your life. You have to identify it, and then you have to do everything you can to eliminate it. Anybody else have an example of one that uh, has held you back that, that you've started to actually overcome and it, everything's changed? It, it, maybe it's one I mentioned, maybe it's one I didn't mention. For me, it was uh, my accent. Okay. <laughs> yes, dude. It's all up there. Totally. I had a gentleman in uh, Houston, Texas say the exact same thing to me. And I swear, I didn't even notice the first like eight seconds he was talking until he mentioned it. Right. So I think a lot of times we create these false beliefs of things that are going. So thank you for, for being honest to mention that because we create these things that we think are like going on and holding us back when, when in, or, or, or people are thinking when in reality they're not. OK, so that's something that like because, for example, I, I, I mean, I know. You know, only Dan and Clayton are actually Cardone fans, and you, you, nobody else likes them. Okay, that's which is fine. Uh, or, or is that true or is that not true? No. Okay, good. Okay, good. Clayton, you lied to me. No, just kidding. Uh, no, I know he didn't say that. I'm just joking. But I, I paid to go to a fifty thousand dollar mastermind with Grant Cardone back in February of 2020. This was one of the things that he mentioned that got my attention like no nothing else. I was like, holy crap. I've, had, I've always worried about what everybody else thought. Like when I would do videos, we've got, we've got 28,000 insurance agents subscribed to our YouTube channel now. Who subscribed to our YouTube channel, by the way? Okay, good, how about that? That's cool, man, thank you. Boom, okay, can we fix that and get everybody else on there today, okay? It's free, okay, good. Thank you guys that were on it though, that's awesome. But what I've learned is I used to not do a video or like overthink stuff. Like who else like overthinks something before you do something? I'm telling you, details delay. Details delay. The more you think about doing something, the less likely you are to ever do it. Procrastination is real. Also, time kills all deals. Whether that be me personally adding time to whatever I want to do, or talking to a prospect and allowing time for them to think about it. The longer a prospect thinks about buying for insurance from you, the less likely it is that they will actually buy it. I promise. Who's committed to, to, to figuring out what those are this year and removing as many of those as you can? Okay, good. This will be tough. This will be one of the toughest things I've said. Rule number six, effort. Effort. I remember at 16 years old, uh, working at a little lo local Apple market, little grocery store in Rogersville, Missouri. And I'm supposed to go to, uh, I'm supposed to, go to work at four o'clock. Okay, she's enjoying this. That's already, or he, either way. That's awesome. He's enjoying this. That's good. So let's go to work at four, part-time. It's 3.30. And I'm throwing up. I don't feel good. So it's going to work at four, three, three, 30 minutes before. I'm just not feeling well. I go to my dad. I'm 16. I'm like, hey, I, I don't, I'm, not feel, I'm not feeling well. I don't want to go to work today. <laughs> he said something that I still think about every single day. He said, you do whatever you want to do. But you know what I would do. So I went to work because I've never seen him miss a day in his work, of work in his life. When I don't feel like speaking at 7.30 a.m. in Orlando after I get in at 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning, guess what? I do it anyway. Because effort is the name of the game. Like there's three things. We don't have a whiteboard doing now, it's fine. There's three things that can hold you back from hitting your target. Thank you, buddy. From hitting your target in 2021. Okay, somebody, somebody give me a goal. Or if you don't have one, you need one, but at least just make it up and, and make me think you do. Buying a Tesla by my next birthday. Dude, I like that, man. Give him a hand. That's awesome, dude. 
I want a Tesla. That's good. That's good. Okay, g give me an in income goal for 2021. 1.5 Okay, good. 1.5 million issued. And what's your name, ma'am? Uh, Kaylin. Kaylin? <laughs> oh, you're good. Okay, good. Thank you. There's only three things that could hold Caitlin, right, yep. back from doing that. Who wants to know what those are? Yeah. I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Well, we'll tell, all four of us will tell you later, okay? Anybody else? Yeah. Okay, good. Number one is effort. Number one is effort. Majority of agents struggle with the effort piece. The second piece that could possibly keep Caitlin from doing this because she may not put forth the effort. She may not work hard enough. Now, I hope that's not true, but it's up to her. We'll find out, right? You, you work hard, right? Everybody tends to agree, so that's good, right? That means she's a, a great example for all of you. Second, skill. She may not be skilled enough for that to happen. Now, I'm thinking she probably is from what I'm hearing. However, what's unique is she chooses how much effort she puts in. She also chooses how much skill and how developed her skill becomes and how good she becomes at what she does. Getting really great is a choice. Like if you're in a place where your skill isn't up to par and you're like, dude, I'm new, my skill's not where it is, guess what? You can put in the effort for your skill to go up. True or true? True. So it's a choice. We get great because we decide to. Third thing that can hold you back from doing 1.5 million, Caitlin, this year, knowledge. She may not know enough for that to happen. But guess what? If we wanted to download Dan's health insurance brain into mine, and I wanted to absorb everything he knows about health insurance and selling health insurance, could I learn everything he knows? Yes. 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 Which means... All it takes is effort. The only thing that could keep you back from doing whatever you want is effort, skill, or knowledge. And guess what? If you don't put forth the effort and work hard enough, if you don't put forth the effort for the skill to go up, or if you don't put forth the effort to actually learn what you need to know, then you can't do what you want to do. But it all starts with what? Effort, effort which is a choice. Which means the ones that are successful chose to do whatever it takes to be successful. Who was dissatisfied with your personal effort level in 2020? Good news is you can change it this year. Who's going to make a commitment right now to change it this year? Okay, good. Good. Me too. Okay. Hey, due to popular demand, we brought 8% virtual the conference with 3,000 agents on it last year back to you. I can promise you. We will have over 10,000 agents that will register. It's totally free. Myself, Tom Hegna, Sales Icon, Brian Tracy, and about 15 other industry titans coming to you to help you be a better insurance agent in 2021. I want you to look back and say 2021 was the year. This is free. I'm committed to helping you. Are you committed to attending? Stop what you're doing. Click the link below and register. And I will see you and 10,000 others on March 5th and 6th. Rule number seven, you gotta train every day. You're gonna love this. In my office, we train twice a day. Sales training videos, either Cardone you or my sales system. We discuss what we learned, and then we role play twice a day as well, right? I get it, it's awkward, it's cheesy, nobody really likes it. However, I've seen average salespeople get great only because of role playing. But most people role play incorrectly when they role play. Can we teach you how to role play correctly? Sure. Here's what you gotta do. Number one, we stand up when we role play. My people try to role play sitting down. It, it's like, I won't be sitting down all day. I might as well stand up when I'm doing this, right? Number two, we role play something specific and we role play it the whole week. So every time we role play twice a day, those 10 role playing sessions for the whole week, 
we role play that one piece, that one objection that we were struggling with, that one closing phrase, that one referral phrase, those trial closes to create engagement before we ask for the sale. We role play one specific piece the entire week. Most people don't do it right. You wanna go from average to great, you will start to take this thing seriously. What I didn't say earlier is as a brand new agent, I would listen to Brian Tracy's The Art of Closing the Cell every single day in my car. I still don't listen to music in my car because it doesn't make me better. Yeah, it gets me hyped, but it doesn't actually make me better at being a master of the art of my craft. You wanna get great? You wanna have a ton of skill? You will train every single day. I don't care if you gotta train, like role play with yourself in the mirror. I don't believe in practicing on the first call and we train and role play every single day. There's five things I do to start my morning every single day. I started doing these three years ago and it changed my world. We're gonna see if you guys will do all five. Who wants to know what those five are? Yeah. Number one, number one, I wake up before 6 a.m. For some, that seems easy. For some, it's like, oh, I'm not a morning person. I used to tell myself the same thing, okay? Good, boom. Number two, I write down my goals every morning. Good. You're with me so far. That's good. Who else is? Okay, good, 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 good. Like, actually, every day, by the way. I also work out every day. Energy is everything. They, me and this guy are like the same person. <laughs> energy is everything. Your energy matters. I, I, I only work out, yeah, because I stay fit. However, I do it because I don't sell, you don't sell health insurance. You sell conviction. You sell passion. You sell you. You sell a relationship. You sell a personality. You sell a belief in what you sell. And you do that by transferring energy across the phone. And if my energy's low, if I didn't go, like, like the gym is at, at Talking Stick, where we're doing an event, is closed. I could choose not to work out. I have an out, I have an excuse. But I'm going out and running around the desert. It's not really, really that hot right now, compared to July, <laughs> right? But I'm doing that because I'm speaking multiple times today and I need my energy to be right. So work out, okay? Four, I learn something every morning. Audio book, book, YouTube video. I gotta be learning always. And number five, I'm gonna test you now. I finish every shower with a couple minutes of ice cold water. Dude, you gotta add that now, okay? Okay? Yep, gonna add that. Okay? Yeah, and you know what? The water is not near as cold here as it is in Missouri, I'll tell you that, okay? But why? Why? Number one, it wakes me up. I like feeling alive, I like feeling awake. And another big thing is it forces me to start my day with something I don't like to do. I believe in starting, I, I don't believe, like people are, are t saying, you know, on social media that you can do whatever you want and you'll still be successful. Like you don't have to do the stuff you don't want to do. I don't believe that. We have to do stuff we don't want to do to be successful. I'm training myself every morning to do something I don't want to do to kick off my day. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Boom, hey, I get asked a lot, man. I say, hey, how do you continue to level up yourself? I had someone earlier on Zoom say, dude, I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to make six, seven hundred thousand dollars this year. I don't want to get complacent. Well, you start making a lot of money.